Okay, this one is the knee cage. Okay, the knee cage is when somebody just needs knee extension. Okay, if it's for somebody with paraplegia, you might use the knee cage along with ankle wraps or something like that to control the ankle. But there are some patients who just need um, to have their knee in an extended position. Um, maybe they have root quads or uh, nerve damage or something like that where they're having buckling of the knee. Okay, so this is the knee cage. And what we're going to do is uh, make sure all the straps are loose first. Okay, and again, it's easier if you make sure they're all loose on the same side so that they open in the same direction. Brand new straps on this one, too. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Now, if you'll notice, there's a larger end, which is this end, and a smaller end. The metal part is going to go behind the patient's knee. You'll be able to tell which way this goes on the patient because it bends that direction. So this has to go underneath the patient's knee. Okay? Um, you have the drop locks that are on both sides. Okay? Um, this one is getting a little old, just so you know. It still works fine, but there's um, the, one of the straps kind of bends in. So make sure once you get that on the patient that you straighten it up so it's not bent under like that when it's on the patient. So just kind of double check. They can't fix that. It's like rivets right there, so I can't just fix it. Um, so we're going to put this on the patient. First thing I'm going to do is put it underneath the patient's lower extremity. It does make a difference left versus right. Do you remember from the ADL lecture which, which side this one should go on? So the buckles are on the outside, so is that going to be her left leg or her right leg? Her left leg. Okay, so it'll have to be on her left leg so that the buckles are on the outside. You wouldn't want these buckles to be against the person's other leg, so buckles on the outside. Okay, hi patient, how are you today? Uh, my name is BJ, I'm from Physical Therapy, and your brace came in, so we're going to get it fit to you today, make sure it's comfortable for you, um, and then we'll get you up and do some walking. Okay, so if you could hold that for me for just a second. Um, again, the patient may or may not be paralyzed, it could be a different diagnosis, um, but just to be safe, I'll kind of help you with your leg here. If I put her foot on my knee, I can kind of control whether she's straight or bent, uh, and it frees up my hand, so it's kind of a nice way to do that. All right, we're going to put this underneath your leg to begin with here. Um, I'll bend the knee so it'll fit under there easier. Oops, sorry. Okay, and the first thing I'm looking at is to make sure that the joint of the knee brace matches up with the joint of her knee. Okay. Kind of right in that area there looks pretty good. Okay, if I straighten and bend her knee a couple of times, I can see that's about the center and that's lined up pretty well. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'll straighten her knee right down. Relax your leg. Okay. Um, let me lock it up so that it stays locked. Okay, so once I find that's in about the right place, I'll lock the knee. First one I'm going to put on is the knee strap. Okay, the patellar part of it, there's a nice soft area here that should be centered on the patella. I'm going to bring your pants up here so we don't have that kind of right in the middle. Okay, so this, I need to feel for her patella. I can actually palpate to find the patella. Have that centered on the patella, which means I'm going to need to tighten up um, as I go here. So let me just get it on first. I'll get it started and then I'll adjust it from there. This is where we need some music. <laughs> Jeopardy, yes. Okay. Um, so as I tighten on this side now, I'm going to make sure that that tightens right down so it's even over the patella. If it isn't, I can adjust side to side as I go. feel like it's too low, like it's pushing down on your patella or not? Okay. All right. Okay. So I have a tentative fit here. Um, again, I'm going to feel for her patella. Can you see how loose it is right here? So I know it needs to be tighter because I could just barely, I should just barely be able to get my finger in there. So I'm going to keep tightening things up until I get it where I want it. Again, checking for the patella. Okay, I can probably go one more. Maybe. 
Okay, and again, I'm checking to see if I can get my finger in there. And I can get my finger in there fairly comfortably, okay? So it's very tight, okay? Once you get it through the um, hole, make sure you put those uh, through the strap. It kind of keeps it from sticking out quite so much. These are long straps I put on here. Okay, this one up here, I can put my finger in there easily, so I need to tighten that one down. uncomfortable at all. Okay, I can still get my finger in pretty easily, so I'm going to even it up by pulling it this side. All right, so you see how it takes some finagling back and forth to keep going with that. Not the most exciting thing to watch. Okay, everything feel comfortable still? All right, so this one I can barely get my finger in. Oops, I almost pinched you there too. So that looks pretty good. We already know that it's tight enough there. I've checked to make sure that the straps aren't doubled over anywhere. Okay, and then I'm just going to tighten these down. Do you remember about the tiger teeth or sharp teeth that we have on here? Um, just a minute, let me get this through here and then I'll explain it. Okay, um, as I pull this tight, there, I'm going to be able to pull it really tight, okay, and then they have what are called the sharp teeth. They're like little, three little sharp things that are sticking up. You want to put the material through that and then be absolutely sure there's a little safety catch that you put down over. You kind of snap it down over the top of those sharp teeth, okay, so don't forget to tighten that down so that it's in safety, um, not going to hit things along the way. All right, this one I'm going to tighten down. You cannot adjust this one as far as front to back on her um, thigh or on her uh, shin Ooh. area. Okay. Again, the tiger teeth through it, and then the safety latch over the top. Everything okay so far? Yep. Okay, that's good, and that's good. All right, I'm checking again to make sure nothing's folded over. Do -do -do -do. Um, I'm going to take this armrest off for just a second. Um, I also could have the patient scooch forward or have her kind of tilt her legs to the side. Okay, and the same thing here. Make sure the pads cross the patient. <clears throat> Tie your teeth through. And actually, I'm not going to take time to do the rest of these. You get the idea that you're tightening, checking, retighten if you need to, keep checking until you get that nice and tight on the patient, okay? And when she stands up, this just holds her into that nice straight leg position, okay? So the knee brace or the knee cuff first, and then either of these. It doesn't matter if you do the thigh first or the shin first, uh, but, but before that, you have to do the knee, okay? Then either one and then the other one. Okay, any questions about the knee brace, the knee? Those locks on it, they don't really like slide out that easily, do they? They kind of stay put. No, good. they they stay put pretty good. Um, but if somebody like if they back up to a chair or something and it hits, I mean, it, it once it gets up a little bit, then it can be knocked off kind of easily. So you do have to be careful. Make sure that they're double checking because they kind of you know lock down there. When you're putting this on, make sure the straps are out of the way before you ever start tightening them, so that you don't have the lock above strap here okay because that would make it really hard to lock it down okay any other questions okay we can turn the camera off